It was just after 10 Monday night at the pool at the Villas by the Bay apartment complex when the Seabrook police chief says one of his officers came under attack. Cell phone video shows the officer struggling with a the man, then body slamming him. A female juvenile then punches the officer from behind. The Seabrook police chief says the incident lasted several minutes. The video is only 19 seconds. Jonathan Johnson says he suffered scratches and bruises from the body slam and only resisted because he did not know the man confronting him and his friends was a police officer. He was in a regular t-shirt, like an Under Armour t-shirt, Under Armour shorts. No badge, no indication of a law enforcement officer at all. Johnson and his friends were admittedly at the pool after hours. Seabrook police say the officer was asked by the complex management to get them out. He was in plain clothes. The chief says he identified himself as an officer. Johnson says he didn't and would have never touched him had he known. No, of course not. Who in their right mind would? I respect the law. I do. I thought he worked for the apartment or something, and so I was, I was like, literally, I was like, why are you overreacting about this? I either thought he worked for the apartment or I was getting robbed. In a statement to Eyewitness News, the Seabrook police chief supports the officer's actions. Quote, the video clip does not show the entire time the suspect was actively resisting. At times, the suspect was in different positions fighting the officer. Not only did the suspect fight with the officer, the officer had to be aware of his surroundings as the suspect's associates were around him and posed a danger. And he called the girl's assault on the officer a serious threat. Johnson was charged with resisting arrest and was released from jail today. What was done to me was wrong, and I don't want it to be done to anybody else. In Seabrook, Jessica Willie, 13 Eyewitness News.